Assalamu alaikum and good day. Hi there. My name is Mardiana Binti Idris. You may call me Dr. Diana, Madam Diana, or just Diana. I'll let you decide. Welcome to my class on speaking today. Are you ready? Now, let me ask you this. How do you feel about speaking? I'll let you think for a few seconds. I know many are terrified of speaking. Believe it or not, I am too. However, with determination, confidence, and of course, a lot of practice, you'll be able to speak well too. So, today is an introduction to speaking skills. I will also explain the Malaysian University English Test or MUET and the Common European Framework of Reference or CFR exam format. This exam is a prerequisite for your university entrance next year. There are two objectives that I would like to achieve by the end of this lesson. One is, you should know speaking skills involved in WE013 English 1. And two, you should know the format of the MUET CFR examination. Now, let's look at the speaking skills involved in WE013. There are seven actually, the skills that you have to know and master by the end of the first semester. The first skill that you're going to learn next in speaking is to organize thoughts in a meaningful and logical sequence. This skill is important because when you speak, you have to organize your thoughts in real time. This is one of the reasons why you feel overwhelmed with speaking, because you have to think what to say, how to say it, and why you say it, all at the same time. Therefore, in this course, you will learn how to organize your thoughts in a meaningful and logical sequence so that you get to express your thoughts clearly and your listeners are able to understand you accurately. The next skill that you're going to learn is to express values, opinions, and views. In order to master this skill, you will learn how to use the correct and appropriate vocabulary so that people will listen to you. As a start, perhaps you would like to watch Julian Thrash's YouTube video on how to speak so that people will listen. The link to the YouTube video is given in the description. The third speaking skill is to respond to various forms of questions and sustain questioning in appropriate contexts. In everyday life, we are always answering questions as well as asking them. Thus, by learning this skill, you will be able to respond appropriately. If you would like to get a head start, Perhaps you may want to watch a video on 20 essential English phrases for daily conversation by Vanessa. The link is given in the description. The next skill in the speaking syllabus is students should be able to paraphrase and rephrase information. Why do we need to paraphrase and rephrase information in speaking? In speaking, our aim is to make our messages or ideas clear to our listeners. Sometimes, this requires paraphrasing and rephrasing. If you would like to know more, perhaps you may want to watch How to Paraphrase Speaking by IELTS Jackie. The link is given in the description. The next skill is Practice turn-taking and sustaining a turn. Practicing turn-taking and sustaining a turn is not just important for your MUET CFR exam. It is also important to develop your social skills. When we speak with others, we have to take turns 
so that we are not the only one dominating the conversation. Why don't you watch a video on turn taking by Mrs. B? The link is given in the description. The next skill is to develop, organize and present ideas or an argument. This is another skill that is important for your MUET CFR exam as well as your social life. Presenting ideas or arguments convincingly is a skill that will help you go far in life. If you have the time, try watching 7 Tricks to Easily Win Any Argument by Top Think. The link is given in the description. The last speaking skill that we are going to learn is to use markers in spoken discourse, which is to introduce ideas, develop an idea, transition to another idea, concluding an idea, emphasizing a point, explaining as well as clarifying a point. Using discourse markers in speaking is important as it helps structure our ideas and thoughts. For a short video on discourse marker, please click on the link provided in the description. So, do you get all the speaking skills that you need to learn for the first semester? Just a quick question, how many skills were mentioned? Now, how many do you get? If you get seven, bravo to you! Now, what are you going to do with all these skills? You're going to apply these skills in your MUET CFR examination for the speaking component. Next, I'm going to explain to you the format of the exam. On the screen is a document from www.mpm.edu.my or known as Malaysian Examinations Council and in this booklet, there is a section whereby the regulations and test specifications are given to you. So for the MUET CFR examination format, you will sit for the exam in session 1, 2021. So what to expect or how you can prepare for this exam? I'm going to show you the format next. Now, first of all, let me show you how you are seated during the UMED CFR speaking test. There will be four in a group with two examiners seated at both ends. For the MUET CFR aligned format, you have to sit for all the four language skills speaking, listening, reading, and writing. So the weighting is actually 25% for speaking. How long is the task or the test? You may ask. So the duration for speaking test is 30 minutes. There are two tasks known as part one and part two. Part one is the individual presentation whereby you have to present your opinion based on the topic given. While for part two, you have to do a group discussion or group interaction among the four candidates. Part one is an individual presentation. In your group, each candidate will read the question and prepare their points for two minutes. And then, after that two minutes, each candidate will present for two minutes each. After each candidate has presented their opinion in part one, they will prepare for part two, which is known as group interaction. So before they interact, they will prepare for three minutes and then after that, they will have to discuss for eight to 12 minutes. For level of response for part one, students are expected to perform or produce speech ranging from A2 to B2. As for part two, students are expected to perform or produce speech ranging from B1 to C1. 
what I am showing you now is the sample question for speaking part one. As you can see there, part one, it is an individual presentation. So you have two minutes to prepare and then you have two minutes to talk. The situation is given to you as well. The situation given there is, it is important to be healthy. Suggest some ways to keep healthy. So as candidate A, you have to give a presentation to your class. Talk about the importance of what and when people eat. So as the candidate, you have to present your speech for two minutes on the importance of what and when people eat. On the screen now is part two. There is group interaction. So each candidate is given three minutes to prepare. In the discussion, you may support or oppose the other test takers' views. Some ideas have been provided in the mind map below. You may use these ideas or come up with your own ideas. At the end of the discussion, try to decide on the best suggestion. And you have 8 to 12 minutes for the discussion. Again, the situation is given as well, similar to part 1. However, the situation has been changed slightly. The theme is still the same on health, but the situation reads, There is increasing concern about the quality of healthcare in Malaysia. In your group, discuss how healthcare can be improved. So you can see the mind map there. The question given is, how can healthcare best be improved? You have the first point, more doctors. Second point, hospital buildings. Third point, train nurses better. Fourth point, cost of medicine. And fifth point, education. At the bottom of the question, it says, at the end of the discussion, try to decide the best way to improve healthcare. Now, this is when you have to apply all the skills that you have learned during your semester one learning and teaching experience. Let's recap our objectives. By now, you should be able to 1. Know all seven speaking skills involved in WE013, English 1. And 2. Know the format of the MUET CFR examination. Let's move on to activities, shall we? There will be two activities that we are going to do today. First, I will give you a link to a Google form. The Google form is a short quiz on this video and its objectives. The second activity involves recording your two-minute speech. Talk about interesting things about yourself, something that others do not know about you. After you have finished with your recording, upload it in our Google Classroom. Now, hope you enjoy this session. See you soon. Bye.